Hello everyone, welcome back to Coffee Outdoors. For those of you that watched the uh, squirrel eating the corn video I just posted, this is that corn feeder. The other day I noticed about 3.30 in the morning on my way to work that I had an ear of corn laying between the Jeep and the truck there. So yesterday morning when I came outside about 4.30 and turned the light on, the outside light there's a raccoon on top of that feeder so what I did last evening is I brought the live trap out here and I put some bait on a corn cob and stuck in there and you see we caught the corn thief not a great big raccoon but he's been eating that corn good so all we're going to do with him is we're going to haul him over to another property that I have permission to release him on and then we'll uh, hopefully catch him this fall once he fattens up but if I was a guess I would say he was last year's raccoon the kits uh, from the spring are not this size yet so but he's probably last year's raccoon but all I had on the on the corn cob is I had some sweet success coon bait from uh, Hoosier Trapper Supply. I had some I put a some Cats Brothers coon bait on a corn cob in there, and I also put some little coon lure on a corn cob from Minnesota brand. So he's not going to eat any more of my my corn, but he's going to go to a new home. So once we get over there. We'll show you the release. All right, so what we're going to do now is uh, open the door on this uh, live trap and uh, let this raccoon out. So, give it a shot here. And he's gone. Took off in the, between them trees and went in them weeds, so... That is a nice thing with these live traps. If you do have a nuisance raccoon getting into something that uh, you don't want them in, there's no damage to them. They're only retained until you uh, let them out and do what you're going to do with them. So, thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next video.